Beloved our brothers and sisters, we express my heartfelt wishes for a splendid day brimming with the sunshine of joy and the love that resides in your hearts. As we embark on each new morning, may we find ourselves enveloped in the divine grace and benevolence of Jesus Christ. May God's blessings be a constant companion, ushering in goodness not just in the early hours but throughout the entirety of the day. Something really surprising happened in the United States. People saw Jesus at the White House. It was like a special moment where Jesus appeared and touched the lives of the people who were there. This extraordinary event came with an important message meant specifically for America. As Jesus interacted with people, it seemed like he was sharing a powerful and meaningful message, suggesting that something divine was happening in the country. This incredible incident at such an important place has left many amazed and wondering about what it could mean for America according to divine plans. To ensure that as many people as possible see this video, kindly take a moment to share this video and subscribe to this channel. May this message touch your heart and help to bring you close to the conversation of souls and the conversion of sinners. If you believe so, please type Amen. A morning filled with prayers promises a day adorned with blessings, while an evening graced with prayer ensures a night of tranquil rest. Before delving into the core content of this video, let's unite in prayer together, Amen. O oh, dearest Saint Joseph, I consecrate myself to thy honor and give myself to thee, that thou mayest always be my father, my protector, and my guide in the way of salvation. Obtain for me a great purity of heart and a fervent love of the interior life. O oh, Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you all my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world, in reparation for my sins, for the intentions of all my associates, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father this month. Amen. It stands as a compelling testament to the belief that spiritual experiences can transcend the boundaries of conventional understanding, leaving an indelible mark on those who were touched by this divine presence. Now, the message will be shared with all of you, beloved children, my blessing endures in every one of you, it thrives in those who choose to live according to my will. My blessing does not materialize in those who embrace innovations that are neither my will nor mine, and who let their human selves rule with all of its misery. You do not see the massive traps that the Antichrist's henchmen have created while you are strolling over them. You will be shocked if you carry on living your life without considering the threats facing humanity. In the annals of Christian history, you are at a pivotal point from which you will emerge polished, like valuable stones. Something strange and worrisome is happening in your country. There's a weird sickness on the way, and we need to get ready. There's going to be an unusual and kind of scary wind that will bring harmful seeds. These seeds can make people sick, especially with skin problems. Everyone needs to be prepared and know about this danger. We need to share information, be ready, and do things to stop these seeds from causing harm. This situation is serious, and we all need to work together to stay safe and protect the health of our community. I want you to prepare yourselves before the beginning of Lent because the latter should be different, and special, to make a true conversion, and start it honestly, looking at your hindrances, the attitudes that lead you to be a stumbling block for your brothers and yourselves, see how limply you fall into sin, look at the ease with which you say no to those who need you, look within at your attitudes, at your persistent arrogance towards your brothers and sisters. I love you. I bless you and protect you. On that night, as the sun went down and the sky turned warm colors, people started talking quietly. They were saying something hard to believe, that Jesus was seen at the White House. People were unsure if it was true, 
but they were curious and gathered around the famous building, feeling a mix of excitement and doubt. In the evening light, a bright figure appeared, shining in a way that seemed not normal. The crowd was amazed as they saw the clear shape of Jesus. His presence made everyone feel calm, and they all got quiet, showing a lot of respect. As Jesus walked among the people, a peaceful feeling surrounded everyone he touched. It was like a special calmness filled the air, making everyone feel peaceful and understanding. The atmosphere felt different like there was a special energy that made people feel love and kindness deeply. Jesus spoke to the surprised group, saying things that made everyone feel warm inside. He talked about love, understanding, and people coming together. His words were strong, echoing against the powerful building. Jesus encouraged everyone to be kind, understand each other, and create harmony that goes beyond just the White House. This extraordinary moment spread everywhere, making people think about love and unity. The White House, usually known for politics, became a symbol of hope and a reminder that love can touch our lives in unexpected ways. Jesus' visit stayed in people's minds, showing the powerful and positive impact of love and compassion. John 2 verse 11, what Jesus did here in Cana of Galilee was the first of the signs through which he revealed his glory, and his disciples believed in him. John 2 verse 11 recounts the moment when Jesus performed his first public miracle at the wedding in Cana of Galilee. By transforming water into wine, Jesus not only met a practical need at the celebration but also revealed his divine power and glory. This event marked the beginning of a series of miraculous signs that Jesus performed during his ministry, demonstrating his authority over nature and the elements. The statement, his disciples believed in him, emphasizes the profound impact of this miracle on those who witnessed it, particularly Jesus' close followers. The miracle catalyzed their growing faith, strengthening their belief in Jesus as the Son of God. The concept of signs in the Gospel of John goes beyond mere wonders, each miracle is a symbolic act that points to a deeper spiritual truth about Jesus and his mission. Now, let's join and pray. Lord Jesus Christ, take all my freedom, my memory, my understanding, and my will. All that I have and cherish you have given me. I surrender it all to be guided by your will. Your grace and your love are wealth enough for me. Give me these, Lord Jesus, and I ask for nothing more. Amen. Thank you for watching till the end of our video. Our brothers and sisters, without fear and with more faith than in the past, let us continue in faith. Stay blessed and continue to pray for God to show all of us His graces and blessings. God bless us and protect us. Amen.